All right, what's the deal, y'all? It's the Interview Podcast here. We back with another video with a special guest, one of the flyest influencers, damn near, on the net. Hi. They, just, they gotta know that you are, so I think they wanna hear it from you first, Gio. Um, hi, I'm Gio. Nice to meet you guys. Um, I'm the hottest model right now in Atlanta. Maybe in your country, I don't know. Maybe in the country. I know y'all see, you know, the different grand photos, the fits, you feel me? So where did all that come from? Though? Like the whole fashion influence, like the way he took that you on right now? Um, I've been into fashion, but I would say that Boat has influenced a lot of my newer styles, new um, wardrobe, I would say. So for those that know, is Yachty like really purely genuine and just a cool ass dude? Yeah, he cool as shit. He cool as hell. Um, I feel like a lot of people must think that he's like an asshole or something. Mm. Eh, depends on the day. Yeah, but he's very chill, very cool, um, very genuine. Um, he wants to better whatever you got going on, you know? Not really change you, but like add to it and, and upgrade it type shit. So, thankful for him, for sure. Was Jadi like one of your favorite artists already? Or something um, to start to grow on you as y'all got cool? And I would say I was listening to Yadi, but I wasn't so into his shit because I never actually took the time to listen until we became cool and I was like, you know, let me listen to this shit and I started fucking with it on my own, and also I've been around him while he was making some songs, and I was like, yo, this is hard, this is super hard, you know? So, I feel like my love for his music grew as I became cool with him, but I did know all his old shits, like... Like the little You know, you know, the... 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 the, the um, brown eyes and, and, and broccoli and all this extra you know the old school stuff one nights one night uh -huh. yeah yadi I, I definitely got on yadi when he first came out but then i had stopped rocking with him for a little bit when he was in that uh teenage emotions phase and then i started back like messing with him probably like 2020 for real for real me it's more so i'm not even a really like a rapper listener type shit i listen to more r&b songs or like slow songs so i don't really listen to rap that much so so you don't even listen to rap music like i do i'm not gonna say i don't i do it's just not something that i'll play on my own like if i'm in a car and you play it i'll fuck with it cool but i if you go through my playlist majority of it's like r&b slow songs or like afro beats so who your top five artists in r&b um as of right now i'm into jordan ward so hard he's so fucking hard um john tolliver very nice very nice brand of course is like everybody's top five um summer walker super nice scissors super nice um he's all about it right yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I listen to a lot of different people. There's like people from SoundCloud and shit that people don't even, I don't even know who they are for real. Like sometimes I'll display it and I'll fuck with it and I'll look it up on Spotify and I'll add it to my playlist. And it's not really like big or well-known people. It's just, right, right. It's just, I don't know, if I like it, I like it. I be getting a lot of songs off TikTok too. TikTok be having the jams, I'm telling y'all. The TikTok, like the little viral songs, like the dances? No. No. The viral songs is not what I'm talking about right now. The viral songs, they always just take the best part of the song and then just make that viral. Yeah. Right. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that be on TikTok and they be like actually putting out music that they wrote. They 
it's kind of far. I'm telling you, go go listen to them folks. Who's some TikTok artists then? Who they who they need to listen? To? Oh my God, there's this one dude. His name is um, Realist K. Mm. He had. Mm. Bro, he made on song. It's called um, "Your Love Is Toxic." That shit was going crazy on TikTok, but. If you look him up and actually listen to his songs, bro, he's super fire. And nobody would think that because y'all only been listening to that one snippet off TikTok. I'm telling y'all, I gotta look at him. Look him up and you're gonna be like, damn, they kind of fly. Dang, you heard it here first, man. Just look him up. TikTok, they do. TikTok is weird, bro. Like, one day you can get a million views, the next day, like, 200 views. You feel me? Anybody can go viral. It's like a whole different world out there. Like, well, not quite. It's really about knowing marketing and social media itself. I feel like when you first start in, then yeah, one of your viewers will get a million views. Another one might get 200 because you're still finding a niche. You're still finding what you want to do. But once you come up with a niche and a plan, all your videos will go up for real. Because let's say you start doing makeup. And that one video will do a million views and then you start doing a cooking video and that shit get 200, what you gonna do the next time, right? So it's like, it really depends on what you do. It's like, once you learn how to move and what you want to put out and what your audience is, everything is easy for real. So on your gram, I know it's like a certain aesthetic you got. Like, how did that come about, the creative direction of your page? Because it don't look like it's just some BS put together were just not uh I'm not active. gonna like it's real active. I'm not gonna lie to you. My Instagram is more so like damn I fuck with these pictures. Let me post them. It ain't much to it for real. Like I don't I don't post every work I do. You know, I don't post every photo shoot I have. But the ones that I do fuck with and the ones that I do think is like I fuck with this, this deserves to be on my Instagram, yeah I'll post it. For some reason, majority of times, all of my shoots are like, the ones that I do like, favor each other a little bit. Like, as far as like aesthetically wise or like mood wise. So whenever I do post them, it kind of look like I put it together, but it's just pictures that I fuck with. Ain't much to it for real. What about putting together a fit? Like, mm. you go to your closet and it's like, all right, I need a fit for this occasion. How does that come about? It depends. Normally, I build off one item, but if we it's an occasion and I have to dress a certain way, it takes me a few days. Like, I'll sit there and think about it. Like, I'm not gonna get up and actually look for it. Like, I'm not gonna get up and go in my closet and look for it and try to put an outfit together. I'm not doing that. But I be thinking in my head, like, damn, I got these pants that go with these. So I be putting a few things in my head but it really depends on how I feel. That's why I don't really be trying to put fits together ahead of time because sometimes I'll put a fit together and then the day of, I'll look at it and be like, mm, I'm not, not wearing that. So I don't even try to waste my time because I'm indecisive as hell. Like I'll try it on three, four outfits before I choose one of them. And I might not even choose one of them. That's the crazy part. What's your favorite shoes right now that's out? It's like what you a fan of? Um, I wear my Timberlands a lot. I feel like Timberlands go with everything. It's so easy. Like, if you don't know, if you don't feel like thinking about shoes, or if you don't feel like putting the outfit actually together, just throw on some Tims, bro. It's gonna go nice with it. But aside from Tims, I got these Cortez the other day, and it's like a shoe inside of like a glove thing. Oh my gosh. And then I could, I could take it. I don't know, I so. Could, I could take it's it off. Two different shoes, okay. Yeah, like I could take this off. Damn. Where you get them from? <laughs> yeah, these five. These are my favorite shoes right now. They look way like better, like without that. You saying just regular? They just hard. No, the, the shoe, the yellow shoe. Oh, just the yellow shoes. Yeah, right? yeah they look like boxing shoes. Are they women's shoes? Or are they? Nah, they men's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they men's. Um, I got them from a vintage store. I went there, I had no business going in there and buying another pair of shoes, but I went there to pick up some shoes that I had bought. Um, the sales associate usually send me like new sneakers that they come in or stuff. Mm -hmm. So I had to go pick up ones and they had these up and I was like, 
Maybe. It's five. Don't get that. How much was it? Like three seventy five, I think. Yeah. Steel. Yeah, not that bad. Not that bad. They fall. So you got hella shoes, hella clothes all in your closet. Like. Yeah. How much money did you spend on drip? <laughs> that is so crazy because um, that's my biggest issue. That's my biggest issue. I spend thousands of dollars on clothes and shoes monthly. Like it's actually bad. I have I have a, a problem, a real bad problem. I'll go to the mall to pick up one thing, come out with like four five things. He said it should be looking too sweet. Ah, oh, man. It's just like, I, I got to get it. Like, if I go to the mall and I see it, in my head, it's like, why wouldn't I get it? I have, actually, I have a lot of reasons why I shouldn't get it. I don't even have space for it no more, but, like, I got to get it. Like, I can't let you buy it. Because then if you see him. It's like, I'll be pissed. I'm like, damn, I should have got those. So I just get them, and I really have a bad problem with it. Um, I'm trying to work on it. Not really. You gotta have like a little rule or something. Like only four shoes a month, or only five hoodies a month, or some shit like that. Like versus coming through. Like well, I feel like to outweigh how much I spend on clothes, I give all a lot of clothes. Like I feel like I give as much clothes as I buy, which is terrible. But you know. So it's like you're going out of town to Vegas in October, not packing a suitcase, just gonna shop there. No, that's crazy. That's super crazy. I'm packing. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm like, like are you insane? <laughs> I'm packing, I'm, but I am gonna buy stuff. I usually, all right, so if I'm traveling with a boat, we go into a vintage store at least one time. That's the only answer I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> the sweater wasn't even ugly, just it wasn't married, bro. If it was probably if it was anything else, I, he would have let me slide. But the fact there was a mirror heat, oh man. And then he dropped a song not too long after we got into argument. No, it, it wasn't uh, shade to me, but in the song he was like, um, my legs never been in the mirror. Oh yeah. Ah man. <laughs> <laughs> Ate me up. It was that time. That's cool though. I done gave the the crew neck away. Yeah, no, I'm not wearing it. You're not finna cook me every time I wear the crew neck. It's clip. I gave it away. I was like, y'all can have it. So you wore it once? And no, I never wore it. You never wore it? I, I, it I never. <laughs> <laughs> I never wore it, actually. I never took the tag off, nothing. I, I got to the house. Um, I put it in the closet. And then one of my homegirls, she wears the mirrors a lot, a lot. So I was like, I got you something. Gave it to her. She loved it. She loved it. I love it. How did niggas get into smoking weed and shit? Like, what age did you smoke? Me? First blunt, yeah. Ah. Uh, mom is for seeing this. I am so sorry. Um, I was 12. Um, my dad smokes weed very heavy. Watch him roll up once, and that was enough for me. So you smoked like his tail, or you broke? Tail. So you actually. I roll my own shit. What are you talking about? Yeah, I've been smoking since. I didn't smoke my first. I've been smoking like I smoked my first blend. I kept smoking. So when it's your first time getting caught, because I know you got caught being that young. Not really. I got caught when I moved here. Um, got caught when I turned sixteen. Yeah, and I only got caught because I smoked some, I must smoke, I ate some edibles. I just fuck. Yeah, it was my first time eating edibles. Um, nobody told me you had to wait 30 to 40 minutes for it to hit, so I just kept eating them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once that shit hit me, it was, <laughs> it was clip. Like, yeah, my mom called me like, are you high right now? Mm. I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She sent me a video. I don't even, honestly, I got caught in like 2016, 2015. So I don't even know how she screen recorded my Snapchat of me being high as fuck. But she figured out a way to screen record my Snapchat and sent it to me and was like, so this not you? And I was like, nah. 
Yes, I lied. I did. What you want me to say? Have you ever got caught smoking? Like, you're going to lie, too. Facts. <laughs> you're going to lie, bro. You're going to lie. I'm not going to tell you one that you were smoking. They definitely know when we be hot up. Niggas coming to clear. Oh, yeah, no. After I got caught, I ain't going to hold you. It was up. I didn't give a fuck no more. It was in there. It was like... I mean, she be mad. She be mad as fuck. She used to try to ground me, take my phone away, uh, whatever. You can take my phone away, but you can take the weed away, like. <laughs> so you I'm like, like, weed, but no phone. Nah, I didn't have no phone. Um, I was a popular kid, so a lot of people that I went to school with used to have like an iPod or like a second phone. Mm -hmm. So I always had some, but yeah, I was still smoking. She would just take my phone away, and I'd be like, okay, girl. You ever took shrooms? Yeah. You like them better than weed? Fuck no. No? Hell no. Nah. Why? Is it too much? Nah, it's just... I'm, if I'm smoking, I'm trying to calm down, chill, just vibe out. I'm not trying to sit here and figure out why the fuck you, your energy so dark and why do I feel like you sad as hell and why is she so happy? Like, I don't want to figure out y'all energy. I'm just trying to vibe out. Like, I already got my own shit going on. I'm cool. Super cool, actually. Yeah, the weed definitely melt you out. The shrooms have you on a different planet. Like, if you take enough, like, you really, like... Not even. That shit just make you too sensitive, like... Should not be be feeling vibrations and shit, like... Mm -hmm, super cool. I do feel like it's, it make you, like, feel like your higher self. Like, you feel... Like you said, I guess more sensitive. It's, it's weird, though, but it's a good weird to me, at least. But I don't think that shit for everybody. I'm not mad at it. It's just not... I don't like it more than weed. I fuck with school. I'll do it again. Would I do it more than I smoke? Fuck nah, no. Nah. Not at all. What's your go-to munchies? Like favorite foods or snacks? Um, I couldn't really tell you because I have many addictions. So like there are certain periods of my life I'll be addicted to something for like two weeks straight and I'll eat it every day and then I'll switch it. So right now it's um, jumbo Fruit Loops next. Actually, I think I got one in my bag. Yep. Wait, wait, what is it? Fruit Loops snacks. It's fruit snacks. Fruit Loop. Fruit Loops got fruit snacks, or it's like Fruit Loops. It's Fruit Loops, but they're big, like they're big as uh, fuck. Like it's not the size of the little Fruit Loops. Where you get them from? This stuff. Bro, <laughs> yeah, they fruit loose, but they just oversized, like they big as hell. Damn near might as well do a bowl of cereal. They too small. They get soggy. I wanna eat it like chips. Are you judging me? You ask me my snack, and I'm telling you my snack. Tell my son you gotta get a bowl of cereal, like. <laughs> No, I'm saying that shit probably could go in some cereal. Uh, pour that shit in cereal. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's... You just buy the cereal for that. Don't buy the snacks. Like... <laughs> feed the purpose. Right. Like, what the fuck are you going to get in a little ass bag? You're going to have to open, like, four of them. Yeah, you have to get, like, three, four bags, for sure. So when you start, uh, getting into grills and all that. I was one of them. Um, when I was young, I was, like... 14, 15, <laughs> I had ordered some from Amazon and figured I would just get one some when I got some money. And then I got my first ones like two years ago. And then I got a date, I got these this year. I got some new ones coming in. I don't know, I just always liked them. They cool. They. Um, I like the different shapes and different types. Like I like how different they are. How people could do a lot of different shit with them. Super fire, actually. Erica Badu got the finest grills you ever see. No, no cap. No cap. Who? Luca. Oh. Trinidad James? Yeah, his shit hard. Oh, he had them gold on my. Yeah, he, I guess he did have gold grips. Luca got um, The Last Supper, Super Fire. You never seen his grills? He got The Last Supper on his grills, Super Fire. And then 
I don't know, there's mad people that got fire ass grills. I'm not gonna hold you. As a matter of fact, I ain't even gonna say it. I can't, can't say it now. Can't say it. I'm not gonna get canceled over this. Okay. That's super crazy. It ain't even that deep. <laughs> like I, I'll say it afterwards. Um, <laughs> I edited it out. Who else got some fire ass grills? Rihanna and ASAP Rocky got some fire ones too at a time. Honestly, it's just so many people out there that got fire ass grills that I was just like, yeah, I gotta get some. It's a shit show. What about tattoos? When you get your first tattoo? Um, it was impulsive. I was like 18, 18 19. I think. I went to the tattoo shop. I got somebody initials tatted on me. Wow. Right. Mm. Is it covered up now? No. Nah. So if somebody asks you what that stands for, you just tell them? Yeah. It wasn't possible. It wasn't possible. Like, I, I had no business doing it, but it's here now. Shit. How many tests you got? I don't know. I got a back test, stomach test, my arm is covered, my face, my neck. Like 30, 40. Was your people stripping about face tats or any of that? Yeah. But I pay my own bills. Fuck is you gonna do for real? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> I love you. Um, I listen to you, but it's like, what are you gonna do for real? Like, you're gonna be upset, but. I don't got no tattoos, so I can't even relate. Like, I have none. Yeah, I can't relate. If I get one, then I'm probably gonna be like two, three more, and then fill this arm up. Yeah, that, that's really how it goes. Like, you get one, two, three. Rarely you get one. Really, really rare. I get tattoos all the time. For no reason. Just part of it. So, what you like to do in your free time? Like, travel, or you just. Like, chill. Chill. Yep. Just chill, cause I travel so much. Aside from modeling shit, I travel when I'm free to be my best friend or whatever. So I always travel. So whenever I'm free, I'm just trying to vibe out, be at the crib, maybe do some fun shit with my friends, but really just stay at the crib for real. It's be, it be draining. Sometimes I don't feel like interacting with folks. I just be wanting to be in the house. But also sometimes I be wanting to be outside. So it really depends on how I feel. It really depends. Majority of times, homebody for sure. Most definitely. Can't even be outside for too long. Yikes. Yikes. So when you modeling, what's some pet peeves from the people that's trying to work with you? like? Um, I feel like me trying to be nice to you and asking you what's your budget so I could work around your budget and you trying me and telling me some outrageous prices like a hundred, two hundred dollars like be for real be so for real that's one of my pet peeves not gonna lie to you that shit, try to low ball you. yeah that shit hit a nerve every time cause it's like What am I gonna gain from that? And you don't have to do it. It's not even that, I don't, I, yes, but it's like, be fucking for real. What makes you think that I would try, like, compare, cause I usually tell them my rate first, so like compare to my rate, be fucking for real. But it really depends on how they come at me with it too. Like, I feel like a lot of people just expect me to let them slide and, and be nice. But a lot of people be like, yo, look, I'm a college student, that's all I could do. And I'll be fucking with them. Why not? They won't hurt me to put a shirt on for me. It just depends on how you come at me with it. And some of them are very entitled. I guess they don't think I'm the one reading my emails or DMs. So they just be talking to me crazy and I just be like, I'm not answering that. But I think my man is uh, Stay Rebel out of Detroit. He said he had hit you up for a modeling gig. Because he, he just got down here today, but guess shit ain't go through. Who? His Instagram is Stay Rebel. It's like a streetwear brand. A lot of the rappers in the city be wearing it like 
baby face race, kill a baby, feel me baby money, but. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why we were we didn't work together. Probably wasn't in town. My rate probably was too high, I don't know. But I'ma fuck with you. So what you trying to uh, do next? Like what's some things that you working on? Like, you know, to just keep leveling up. Um I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Like um working on in campaigns, working in video shoots or networking with people, meeting new people, doing shit that I like to do, putting on outfits, making videos. I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. But I'm probably gonna start dropping more YouTube videos and shit so people could get more of a personal feeling to me, I guess, like get to know me more and what I do behind the scenes or what what I be up to on my day to day. I feel like that would be a cool little thing to do. So I'm probably gonna start doing some YouTube videos soon. See where that goes. What you want your fans or supporters to know about you that they don't know? I feel like they know everything. I'm very open. Ain't much to, like, everything that I post is what I am. So I feel like if you're my supporter and you've been supporting me since I first started, they know me, basically. So I don't really got nothing to say. Just thank you for supporting me. That's about it. Hey, I think they appreciate that. You know, it's a lot of fans out there that, you know, probably you influence, they style, a lot of girls or guys got the grills and stuff, you feel me, so. I think that's hard. I feel like um, I'm thankful to have this platform where I'm able to express myself and influence people to follow or do the same thing or try to find themselves or try to add my style to theirs. I feel like this is a cool little thing. I fuck with it. Um, I was thankful for the support. I was thankful for all the love that I get. So, I don't know, I feel like, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't remember. Well, y'all got the message. <laughs> Why well, I don't remember the word? What the fuck? That should be the worst. You're trying to say a word and you're like, say one word this. Bro, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. And then it come up like. It's gonna come up once I'm done. And it's gonna be too late, so it's like, whatever. Y'all got the message. Facts. Well, I appreciate you definitely, you know, getting on this interview. Of course. They probably, um, seen you on the cover of Yachty little ET drop with the little singles or whatever. Right, right, right. So he just threw that on there or he, he asked you like, yo, can I use it? Nah, he just threw it on there. I figured. Yeah. He was editing me on there. And you just seen it or you know? Yep. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Just like everybody else. Woke up, saw it. About it. Strike, strike. Slide, slide. Crying. Fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what um a wrap for the interview. Once again, y'all see me next week. This is Gio. Make sure y'all tune in on her gram and her YouTube. She she promised y'all today that she gonna drop some Right, right, right. Some vlogs, whatever. Don't be in my neck with it. I'll I'll come around with it. Don't be her neck, but you know, ask her for some pointers in the DM. She might respond to you on the fitch. You know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I did we do today? I fuck with your feet. Damn. Fuck with yours. Chill. Matter of fact, I'll start tagging where I get my shit from. Mm, um, not, not he said he's not doing that. Yeah, people not a fan of it, but I'm an influencer, so it's like part of my job. I actually get paid to tag you. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I actually. I'm in here first, that's cool. Yeah, no, it's possible. In order for me to tag you, I gotta post it, so it's like, you're gonna see it on me. But I'm gonna tag you for y'all. Some pointers, I guess. Some, not all of them. Maybe one thing out of it, or two. Whichever I'm feeling like.
Tell me all what you is. Via somebody, man. Bitch supply. Make sure y'all go shop. This damn nerd, my homie shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. He actually brung you a hoodie, but the nigga's like 15 minutes away and can't get over there, so. Uh, uh, we gonna uh. either go grab it, try to bring it back, or just have to get it to you another time. I was just. You got small and a medium, but it's this one, but in black. That's fine. Um, just send it to me. Not send it to me, but um, link me another time. Because I, I have to go to this pink flamingo stuff. Facts. But, yeah, just link me another time, or he could just drop it off one of these days. No matter to me. Oh, shit.